Dinwoody Lakes is part of the Dinwoody Glacier and that this is really a, a glaciated lake. It's tinted green and both lakes. This is the upper lake, but this is ideal for the Nymagaris to, to breed. Tunnels close to water, caves, and I think these writings are a reverence that they that they drew. I doubt if Indians are got up there and climbed and did all those intricate drawings as as down below where they could reach. Right over there they did. Those up there are too too detailed. And um, just out of this world. Came back up to Dinwiddie Lakes, check out some more rocks, take some pictures of the petroglyphs. Last night when I was here, fish were jumping right only in this spot. Maybe it was a maybe it was a sign to say thank you for finding us. <laughs> I'm gonna try to head over to that other side and check out a couple features over there. Notice a couple dead fish I've seen. Looks like three right there. Something's working these little caves. A lot of them look like they've been worked and sat in, lived in, crawled in. This is that petroglyph high on the cliff that was circled. It's probably about 50 centimeters in diameter. That's to the left and to the right is the embryo fossil. That's a centimeter wide approximately. But this was a major breakthrough in the first chapters of the, of the journey that uh, really was an extraordinary find for me. And if you look closely, you could see the tubes coming out of the head, uh, just the encased um, skull. You can see that the feet are pointed in, the arms are extended out perfectly, um, you know, and then there's a um, encased and a crust around, around the whole thing. And so uh, this was a real miracle find. The biggest rev revelation out of this picture was the water cell battery right here and this was uh, found also in the bones uh, down in Colorado that uh, were the same shape and found in the found in the bone record so it was pretty amazing correlation across the board for me that was really a, a astounding uh, development
I think this thing skipped a hundred feet or so. I think there's another pile up here. I'm gonna check out skipped and drag. You can see it on the map. But I'm gonna check this other ferry out if I don't kill myself. Wow, there's lots of burrows. Lots of burrows. I don't see any big animals. Wow. What caused these? That's fresh. This is all fresh. I don't know if I should dig one up. Look at this burrow here. Maybe it's probably some big voles. Burrowers. Where are you? I'm gonna find one of you. I think that. Probably voles, but this is amazing. Okay, that brings it to a whole different level. Here's the wellhead. There's some active bees. There's probably some water coming in, but it's not attached or pumping. But I don't know what kind of bones these are. They look like long femurs, though. Kind of a real round object there. Who knows when this was made, but it's pretty solid with the steel. And I'm gonna check on the inside. You get some more samples of the surface of this. Like the holes open up right at this angle from the, from the truck. There's all kind of trails in here. Burrows. This 
this looks like it was dug not too long ago. I mean, gotta think that they're right under there. This is right in the hard soil, hard rock of the of the road. Look at the size of this one. Right in the road. Holy sh This thing is huge. Wednesday morning, November 4th. Um, uh, I just took a dirt road off of Whit and uh, there's some of these big impact mounds, dams. There's one, two, three over here, and then there's two or three back there, and there's a big pile of rock and trees over there. Here we go. Every time I come to a spot, I find something new, even though it looks like junk, but there's bones everywhere. And there's a, uh, atomizer right there. Everywhere in here. wire is active and there's a field underneath it. It's just got a little tingle in my arm. I think I can walk around. There's another right here. I don't think I'm going to risk it. I think this is aged. There's rocks everywhere. On road U and road three came across this uh, definite color break. <clears throat> I really haven't seen anything like this out here.